Hello there and welcome back to the Achievement Planner. Today I'm going to be talking about the game A Way Out, which is an awesome co-op game and it's completely co-op. And uh, at first I didn't think I was going to like it, but my, my the person I play with a lot, Blazing Archer, uh, they said that it would be a good suggestion and they were right because it is pretty awesome. In fact, it's so awesome that I would maybe even want to play it again and switch the sides because you could choose one character or the other. Leo or Vincent. There you go. So, um, there are 14 achievements for a thousand gamer score, and this game took about six to eight hours overall. Um, and there's one playthrough for all the achievements. And guess what? Only miscellaneous missable achievements. What? Can you even believe this? I know you can. So, uh, yeah, no story achievements. You play this game, you don't do these things, you don't get a, any achievements. In fact, we finished the game, bef like, well, we finished all the achievements well before the game was even over. So it was kind of interesting. Anyway, so category one are going to be called Act One Achievements. So in this game, there are five acts. Acts, that's a hard word to say. All right, five acts. And in this act, Act One, there are two achievements for 150 gamer score. So number one is The Dip, and that's uh, actually in Chapter 2 of Act 1. It's called The Yard, and what you have to do for the 100 points is you need to be Leo. Whoever's Leo has to do, uh, they have to go to the workout area in the beginning of the yard scene, and they have to go talk to the old guy who's doing dips. He's holding on to the two bars and doing the dips, and he has to do 20 dips, whoever's playing as Leo. So yeah, and those 20 dips aren't actually too easy. You gotta spam that button pretty hard. So that's the first one. And the second one in this act is actually in chapter 10 called Prison Escape. Uh, so all, by the way, you can go back and, and do go, uh, go to chapters after you've done with the game. So that's why chapter 10, Prison Escape, what you're doing is when you're trying to, well, I'm not gonna say what's gonna happen. Well. <laughs> It's called Prison Escape, the level, and the achievement's called Freedom. So, uh, yeah, you're escaping. Okay, a spoiler, I guess, but, you know, it's kind of obvious. So, but what you're going to do is once you go through the warden's office, you're actually going to go through the warden's office that you were in earlier in the game, and you're going to free his caged parrot outside on the balcony. You have to free the bird, and it's a, a cutscene will happen. So, yeah, so that's actually the first category, Act 1 Achievements. Um, and the second category is Act 2 Achievements, and there are four achievements in this category, all in Act 2, and that is for 340 gamer score. So the first one in this category is called Take a Breather. So once you leave the prison, because once again, I'm not, it's not a spoiler, it's in the name. So once you leave the prison, Act 2, in, uh, in Chapter 3, it's called Breather. What you're going to do is you're going to go up on this ledge, stay all the way to the right. Make sure you're heading to the right when you're running away uh, outside. It's, it's nice out at this point. It's daytime. Um, and you're going to find these two rocks. So you sit on the rock near the waterfall at the beginning. And uh, so basically just make sure you're going right and you'll go over the ledge. And, and the guide I put up uh, will, will help you too. All right. So the second achievement in this category is called In Sync. Uh, not like not like the group. And uh, this is in Chapter 4, The Farmstead. So this is when you go to the, the elderly couple's house. Uh, Vincent is going to play the piano, and Leo's going to play the banjo in the living room. They're just going to see these instruments and start playing them. And you just have to get a streak, just like good old Guitar Hero Rock Band. And uh, yeah, that's it. Play a nice, cute little song. Uh, the third achievement in this category is called Take It For A Spin. And this is in Act 2 also, Chapter 4 also, this farmstead. Uh, the, and you're going to climb the windmill outside of their property. And you're going to just try to push the blades down and make it spin. All right? Yeah, that's what you're going to do. Interact with blades for like 10 to 15 seconds, I think. All right? And the last category, uh, no, the last achievement in this category is called Timeless Treasure, also in Chapter 4 of the farmstead. And what you're going to do is there's a grandfather clock in the farmhouse, and you both need to pull on the chains at the exact same time in the clock. And once you do that, something special will happen, and that I will not tell you. But that is going to give you the Timeless Treasure achievement. All right, so now for Category 3, Act 3 Achievements. And in this category, there are six achievements for 410 points, or gamer score. 
Um, and they are, the first one in this category is called No Cheating. And this is an, uh, well, these are all in Act 3. But basically there's a trailer park that you're going to go to at one point at the start of this act. And when you get to the trailer park, you're going to go straight and you're going to get to a woman in a chair. You're going to talk to her. Apparently her, her husband's cheating on her. And you're going to go to the right, uh, to the, this other trailer, and talk to whoever's in there. And then you're going to go back and tell on whoever's in there to the wife. And that uh, is going to be the no cheating achievement. The next one is the second achievement in this category, and that is called Home Run. And Home Run is where you're going to walk around, you're going to find the people playing baseball. And uh, I think it was the first, first path to the right. Uh, when you first start, you go until you get to the two guys playing, and both of you have to hit a home run. So a lot of these achievements, one person does it, and you both get the achievements. In this case, you both have to hit a home run, so just switch places, pitching and, and hitting the ball. All right, so that's the second one. The third one, you started it. So also at the, the trailer park, there is a swing set, and you both sit on it. It's one of those swing sets where you both sit towards looking, uh, looking at each other, and you both start at the same time and you swing and that'll be that third one so now in chapter two you're still at the trailer park uh this chapter is called bonds and you're going to reach leo's house and so then his wife is going to ask you to fetch the wrench at if you're playing as vince so leo's going to be doing one thing vince is going to be doing the other thing vince is with the with his wife so you're going to go to the shed and get the wrench as vince uh and then you're going to bring that to his wife and you're going to start uh the bike and that's going to get you that achievement backseat mechanic and like i said if yeah, even though vince is the only one who did it both of you will get the achievement also if you are playing as a leo do not climb the treehouse until this is done all right do not climb the treehouse until this is done i'm pretty sure it'll skip it but i'm not 100 percent. but just don't treat don't do it all right the next one is called managed anger and this is in chapter four called Violent Questioning. And this one was kind of weird. My, uh, my, my, my co-op partner and I had a little trouble with this. But what you're trying to do is when you are up on the roof questioning the guy, all right, you need to trigger a cutscene with Leo. And what happens is he is going to kind of interact with the, with the character. And, you're gonna, and so what, what we have to do is to make sure you press push him back as the option. And then it, it's, it's kind of confusing, and, and the, the guide can help you more with that. But he has to, you have to press to push him back, and then you need to go over. He's going to go over to the table and kind of do this little cutscene, get angry, and then he'll go over and throw the guy off the, the ledge. All right, so, um, so it's, it's a little confusing. I would say just watch the guide. To be honest, I still don't know exactly how we got it. So just keep doing it. Keep restarting the checkpoint if you... If, if you can't get it, but basically Leo has, you do push him back and Leo has to lean over the table and Vince, I think also Vince, if he tortures him with one object, that will also help it. Um, and that, yeah, it's, it'll be a cutscene. I'm sorry, I don't know more about that one, but it's kind of confusing. So check out the guide. And the last one is Live the Dream, Act 3. Uh, and with that last one, you, could, you can keep re restarting the checkpoint. So you're not going to miss it as long as you don't end that scene. All right, so Live the Dream is the last one here, and this is in Chapter 9 of this act, and it's called the, the Chapter 9 is called The New Life. So when you're at the hospital, uh, and I'm not going to spoil why you're at the hospital, but when you're at the hospital, you're going to head left to uh, the, the maternity floor. So you go in, in the elevator, and you go to the maternity floor and reception, and then you sit down on the couch. There's a couch, and you sit and watch the moon landing, and then something special happens. So that's going to be that, category, uh, that uh, achievement called Live the Dream. All right, and then the last category is uh, Act 4 achievements, uh, category number 4. And there are two achievements in this category for 100 gamer score. All right, so the first one is called Break from Reality. And this one you need to find the arcade machine, which is in the back of the flight hangar, and you both have to play it, and you'll get that achievement. And then the last achievement in this category, and for the game, is called Mayday. And this is also in the beginning of this hangar. And you go outside as Leo, and you're going to get in the helicopter and try to use it. So that's about that. So, yeah, there were 14 achievements, and they're all missable, every single one of them. I guess you could get them by accident, but that's, that's about it. But this is an awesome game. 
and it's worth playing again. And I definitely uh, recommend it. And thank you to my 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 uh, co-op partner, Blazing Archer. And uh, yeah, that's about that. And I'll see you next time on the Achievement Planner.